Hello, my name is Helen Wu, and I was a part of the Summer Research and Computer Science program here during my time at SRIC. I was at the NCSSM Durham campus. Today, I will be discussing my project, which was a comparison of shallow learning and deep learning for detecting pneumonia in chest x-rays. So what is shallow learning and deep learning? Shallow learning is any kind of machine learning that did not involve neural networks. And this would include instead a feature extraction method and a classifier. Now, deep learning was any kind of method that had neural networks in it. And these models were already pre-built. So all I had to do was retrain the models using MATLAB's functions and then use the classify function to test the data. So these are the three different types of experiments I did. Uh, experiment one basically got training and testing data all from one data set. Experiment two got training and testing data from a different data set. And experiment three would use training data from one and testing data from another, which I termed as being a cross data set. So out of the cross data set comparisons uh, compared to the individual data sets, I found that depending on what you put as your training or testing data, uh, the data set would actually impact the accuracy results. So as you can see in the chart, in the upper right, those would be the most desired models um, or the most desired, desired results. And the chest with the chest data uh, proved to be the most accurate overall. So out of all the methods, ResNet50 ultimately proved to be the most consistent because it never created the smallest accuracy in any kind of experiment. Um, however, the HOG and medium Gaussian SVM proved to be second only by small margin because it was always the best out of the shallow learning methods and it would only be a little bit lower in accuracy compared to ResNet50. And overall, shallow learning descriptors prove to have better testing accuracy for cross data sets, while deep learning would provide overall better results for individual data sets, as well as a higher validation accuracy overall. In the future, I would like to use these models um, and apply them to identify multiple diseases and not just pneumonia, maybe even use x-rays from different kinds of body parts to identify diseases. And I would also like to use these multiple methods to develop a single multimodal system in order to make the most accurate model I could possibly make. So I would like to say thank you to the Burroughs Welcome Fund and the NCSSM Foundation for sponsoring this trip. Uh, and also thank you to my mentor, Keith and Kleiner, as well as Dr. Shoemaker for all of their support. Thank you.